in this video I am going to get insane Slayer experience gains and how I'm going to do that is I'm going to start off by unlocking a quest, the Lunar Diplomacy, the Fremenic 2 parts for 35 renown and now I can use NPC contact to get new tasks and I'm going to pick only jelly tasks and dust devils in the beginning from Konar and also get brimstone keys as well as when I get to 80 I can do necreals. This is going to be insane, I'm going to be using the Endless Knowledge to Spellbook Swap between Lunars for NPC Contact and the Ancient Spellbook for Ice Barraging. Actually I can't do Konar because I can get assigned in the wrong area, so I'm going to do Cheldar instead. So let's do NPC Contact, get Jellies. And now I have 119 Jellies and at 65 I'm just going to do uh, Duradel all the way basically to 99 Slayer. Because I can get Dust Devils, Necreals and all that from him, but now I can just uh, swap to the ancient spellbook and I can barrage these down and then repeat. Now because I'm already 99 magic I'm just going to be defensive casting this entire time. Maybe we can get to pretty close to 99 defense and also I'm going to get 99 hit points pretty soon here and just look at the slayer experience when all these die. 1.7k experience per one. Yeah this is going to be pretty fast. Already up to 72 Slayer, but this is a pretty big level coming in here, 99 hit points for 125 free points. Just unlocked bigger and badder, but I do not have the relic fragment for it that makes them really common, but I am assuming that you get them from killing superior, so good to have that unlocked and hopefully I can get this. One last jelly and that is now 80 Slayer so I can do a Necreal tasks from now on which is going to be insane experience and when I get to 85 I am definitely going to try to get an Abyssal Whip which means I also have to get to 70 attack. Finally that is the first superior I think I killed like 700 creatures before I got this so I was well well over the rate of getting one it's one in 200 without the relic 40,000 Slayer experience a task and an eternal gem and also the dark totem base. I think I have an entire totem plus the base now so that is nice. And here comes a big level. This is going to be in just a second here if I get a few kills. 85 slayer which is actually a pretty big level because I can get 125 points for just killing an abyssal demon and then 125 for equipping a whip. It's going to be 1 in 70 to get the whip because of the drop rate increase but that is 125 points. A big shout out to Lucy Loud actually told me that you can just go to the Fountain of Rune and cast the Surge spell here because you don't need the Wrath Runes then, it is free. So that is a nice way of getting the 50 points for the Surge spell, I had not thought about this at all so thanks a lot for that. That actually took quite some time and that is an interesting loot beam, I've never seen that before, that seems like it's kinda new, but uh, that is the Abyssal Whip achieved. I can't equip it yet because I have to get to 70 attack, but when I do, that is another 125 points. That was horrendously slow, but uh, 70 attack just thought I would get that to equip the whip and get another 125 points. So I have been thinking lately that maybe I want to try something a bit different. I'm not thinking that this is 100% going to be the best way of killing necks, but it is a very fun and interesting thing. I'm sure you've seen a lot of other YouTubers do the Darok thing, where they're trying to get like 300 damage hits in with the Knife's Edge relic that increases your damage lower HP you have, as well as there is the absolute unit set relic fragment you can have that gives you 50% damage reduction and reflects damage. I was thinking maybe it could be a pretty interesting thing to try to get full Darox, stay like 25 HP to be safe, have the absolute unit relic uh, set bonus on and try to hit like 250 damage with uh, full Darox on Nex and actually Nex is kind of weak to melee. A lot of people might not know that but if you go to the stats of Nex you can see that Crush is actually something she's kind of weak to and you can actually have Crush on Darox so that might be something I'm going to consider but uh, before that I want to get the Primordial Boots anyways from Cerberus and we are getting pretty close. A small advice I can give you guys by the way if you're going to barrage Necreals, I had the problem of not really having many prayer potions, I haven't really been doing many farm runs, is use the Praying Respects Relic Fragment because it buries bones and scatter ashes automatically for you. And when you kill this many Necreals in the Catacombs of Current, every time you scatter or bury bones or anything like that, it actually gives you prayer points. So you can see every time there's like a bunch of them dying, my prayer points are going to go up by a lot. So you can see 68, 67 and then 69 right away when I get some prayer. 
From all the barraging of the Necreos, I've got so much money that I decided to buy a bunch of Chaos Runes for the sole reason of buying an Onyx, which is actually a task, and then get my crafting level up. I'm only 55, all the way to 82, and then use the plus 8 Relic Fragment to boost all the way to 90 and get myself a Fury. I'm in no real rush though to get the Fury, I don't think I really need it right now, but I do want to have it for next, but with the leftover Tockle I'm just going to be buying gems and get as close to 82 crafting as I can. So I ended on 77 crafting and I actually after that went and finished a bunch of tasks that I got from Slayer basically, I had not really killed any of the Slayer creatures, I had a lot of points to get from that, but now it is time to get 91 Slayer and be able to unlock Cerberus. Actually kind of creeped up on me, 25 million magic experience, that is all the magic tasks you can get experience wise, uh, but uh, yeah, some free points. But that is 91 Slayer completed, we can now unlock Cerberus, it is 50 points so it's kind of expensive, but uh, it is a boss I need to do regardless, because if I'm going to be using melee for full Darox, or if I'm going to range it, both of the best in slot boots is from that boss. But uh, before we do that and unlock Cerberus for 50 points, I'm actually going to spend 25 points, unlock Barrows and try my luck at getting some Darox pieces. Because I could really get unlucky at Barrows and actually not get any Darox pieces for the longest time, even with 3 times drop rate, so might as well start off doing that. If I get lucky, get the full set, then I can full commit. So let's unlock Barrows, 25 Renown, really not that big of a deal. And uh, yeah, let's see if we can get lucky. And the first Barrows chest? Gives me an Aaron's Rope Top, very nice, actually a task as well, so uh, let's equip that. I can use that for Barrows, not bad, and another task to equip it. Oh my god, really another Aaron's Rope Top? Three chests and I have a duplicate already. I thought I might as well just uh, finish the Fury because I had so much money from all that barraging Necreals, so this is going to be 82 crafting and now I can use that Relic to boost all the way to 90. I already have the Onyx, so let's go and get the Fury. I know that crafting the amulet actually gives some points, I'm not sure if actually equipping the amulet of fury gives any points, but uh, let's add it, that is the onyx amulet, and that is 125 points. Let's now enchant it, and that is the amulet of fury. Let's equip it, and that is not a task, but uh, yeah, still pretty good tasks for making it. Just getting some food for barrels, but uh, this system update right here, which says 4 minutes, that is going to be a update where they actually lower the renown cost on a lot of things, mostly the skills. And uh, all the people that has already spent the renown is going to get it refunded. I currently have 61, so let's see how much I have after this update. This should go up by quite a bit. Oh my god, 261. I got 200 renown back. What do I even spend this on? I can... Pretty much complete every single quest now, I think. It's not that many left, and have a lot of renown left over even. And there we go, that is every single quest in the bundles unlocked, and my quest points is 229. Of course, not every quest is in the bundles that you can unlock, but uh, I don't really think I have to worry about quests anymore. And I still have 118 renown, and on top of that, they actually made quite a lot of bosses cheaper. So if we go here to Sire, it used to be 30, Alchemical Hydra used to be way more than 30. I don't really remember, but it's probably like 50 or 75. Cerberus was 50, now it's 20. So yeah, all of these, like, look at this, God Wars Dungeons were all 75, now they're 30. So it's going to be pretty easy to unlock all of this. Oh, that's the first Elite Clue Scroll I've ever seen on the account, so I guess if I do that, that is a task. Are you kidding me? A third Aram's top? The only item I've got, and I've done 13 chests. This is actually a meme. Oh, there it is. That's the first Darox piece and a fragment. Might be a good one, but uh, oh my god, nice. First piece. Oh, oh, I thought that was a Darox play body. Torag, ah, it is tank body. Oh my god, a double chest and both of the items are Darox items. Of course, the helm is a duplicate, but wow, already two out of four on 19 chests. Oh my god, a back-to-back -back double chest, Arim's hood and Varax Brazard. Nothing too good, I guess, but the Arim's hood could be useful, I suppose. Give me that back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back double. Oh, it is an item, Gotham's Chain Skirt. Not really what I want, but the first tank legs. 
Oh, duplicate. Torx plate body. It is what it is, but uh, that was quite a dry streak. So I'm trying something kind of interesting because all I really care about are the Darox items. And if I kill Darox, use the Crystal of Memories, the last recall relic, teleport to the chest, loot it real quick, get nothing, and then I will swap to the Archaeo spellbook, teleport back to Barrows, and then only kill Darox all the time. I can only get Darok items, but that is really all I care about, and the runs are going to be really fast, so might be worth it. Oh, there it is. That took me like 35 chests, and that is the axe. We only miss one single item now to have the full Darok set, and that is the plate legs, so I'm going to try to do a bit more of this, and yeah, this seems to be very effective. I think this is going to be the last chest I do for the video. Hopefully I will get the uh, Darok legs, of course, very unlikely. But uh, I'm going to show you guys, I'm on 117 chests after this one. It is very fast to do, it's like a minute per chest I would say, so nearly two hours of doing this and I did get the axe. And the last chest was nothing, but uh, for now I think I'm going to stop here. In the beginning of the next video I am going to get the Darox legs, we're going to do Cerberus with full Darox. I will also have to train my melee stats because I've been kind of neglecting that of course, I really didn't plan on doing this. But uh, looking at other people really gave me the idea to try this on next. It seemed really viable. So yeah, it will be really interesting to try that. So I've seen some comments talking about what am I doing on my group Iron Man. So I thought before I end the video, I'm just going to give you guys an update. I've been doing Hunter. I've been uh, trying to get to 80 Hunter for Crystal Implings just to AFK and get some now and then from doing Cannonballs in Prifton House, of course. And you can see here, I'm almost at 33,000 Cannonballs, which should be close to enough for 87 Slayer, which I was working on before the leagues came out. I don't actually have any more Steel Bars right now. I'm just waiting for Doug to get more from Salcano, which is grinding out pretty hard. So I should get more in the future. I'm hoping to get like 60k or something like that by the league's end. And I probably won't use that many, but it's nice to have. But that is going to be it for this video. A bit of a shorter one, but we had some longer grinds. I think the Slayer grind took me over 10 hours to do. So it is what it is. But I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, please leave a like. Subscribe if you want to see the future uploads. And until next time, guys, take care.